my two year, 10 month old boy is always having a cold with a runny nose and excessive uh, salivation. He also snores. Please, what causes that? So, like I said, children just by their nature are more prone to cold and cough. That's just what childhood is. And sometimes when parents say that it's always, what they actually mean is that it's having repeated bouts. Mm. So perhaps the child is getting a cold every month, um, which is um, on the high side, but it's okay because it's a child, yeah. And then the parent tends to see it as all the time but when you um ask questions you see that so they will say okay he came and then he went away for a week or something <laughs> and then he came again yeah so but children do tend to get cough and cold it's just because they are children mm. as they grow up they don't get it so frequently mm. that's how we all um went through it and uh, the, the snoring the snoring is a problem so um what she's calling snoring may be because the child's nose is blocked and there are sounds coming out. But mm. if it is true snoring, your child shouldn't snore. And so that child should be evaluated and be treated because um, when they snore, um, first the quality of sleep is disturbed. So if they go to school, they don't do well because they are feeling so sleepy. And we already said that lack of sleep um, affects your health in other ways. And then over time, over time, if this is what we call obstructive sleep apnea, which means that mm -hmm. as you are sleeping, sometimes um, you, your breath sort of sneezes because of um, the same thing that is making the sound snoring come out. So if this is it, over time, it could actually affect the heart. So a child shouldn't snore. That child should be sent to hospital and evaluated. Perhaps there's something at the back of the, the throat, which is too big, and then it can be um, treated. For, for the child. Joy Prime, the ultimate experience.